All right, guys. So we're in Wild Blue right now. We uh. Stability test right here. Stability. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't, bro. Don't. <laughs> we're about to lift off. Dang, it is much bigger for sure. Oh, it's huge. It's much bigger. Please pick that up before it fucking goes off everywhere. All right. We're just gonna test the gondola stability. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. So we're here on Wild Blue, the new gondola. We were talking about this in the summer when uh, when they started making it. We uh, we're here now. It's pretty lit. It was a pretty lit experience. Yeah, we came up at night and did it. In yep. The opening day video. Yeah, I'll play that right now. We're staying over there. Yep. And they were still blowing snow. Yeah, they were. And they didn't have the cars on it. I mean, nothing was here. Yep. It's actually a pretty busy day compared to recently. It's definitely more people in town. Yep. The restaurants are packed. Yep. Um, no, I mean. Fucking come on down to the butter barn, let's make real. <laughs> this gondola eventually will go up to the top of Sunshine Peak. It's for the Learning Center and it goes to Greenhorn Ranch, which I'll show when we get to the top. It's apparently like one of the most like high tech, not high tech, but like advanced, advanced learning centers. If you look behind right. you, that's called preview on the right side of the green rope. Yep. That is our current learning, learning center. center. There used to be a lift there called preview. And it's not it. It's just not it. It's not good. And uh, it's always crowded. But yeah. hopefully, this Greenhorn Ranch Express opening will tame some of that madness down there. Plus, the preview lift is gone. Right. So this lift, you can see, it goes just to the left of the rest of the ski mountain. You can see the old gondola up there. Um, it's relatively new, but this is, of course, very new. 2019. Um, 2019. And this goes. It's actually really high up. It's higher than the other gondolas um, right now and this is only you know you look down and it's actually relatively high but also once they get it above um, the second half which will be next season it actually goes way higher when it is open this gondola is not gonna be like this no nope. it's gonna be 10 people every yep. single time yep. the gondola moves so slow I mean, it moves fast once you're out of the station. This is faster than the other gondola, by moves, the way. It moves so slow in the station mm -hmm. that you can pack them. And yeah. if you'll see, the ski racks, they're like ski snowboard combo racks. Yep. They're not, they're separated, so you can get both in. So in theory, you could get, I don't know, I mean, 12 pairs of ski in here, but only have 10 people. Yep. Yep, the they're seats not, are very nice. They're not like the other seats. They're not molded. Like I'll the show other. a clip like the other seats you'll see. Um, well, they have a new lodge in there. You can see that big building. That's the lodge with food and all that stuff. And up there is the new lift, and we're about to go on that. But right now, you'll see it will go up there, but they have it where it's turning. So, yeah. Uh, we are pulling in right now. Wow, this is really cool. Dang. These gondos are way bigger. See, for look, sure. He's got to grab your seat. Get all the lifts. Great coming through. Yep. Yes, all the lifts are open. Yep. Every lift in the day. And that part that will have to be done. Yeah. In theory, it's a lift. Right. So that's Wild Blue right behind us. Beautiful view. Looks like the lift is not open yet. See there? Yep. So I thought it was open, but it's not. That's okay though. New snow making. They've gotten about what? What would you say? Yeah, all these snowmaking guns that you'll see around are gonna stay. And uh, that's Thunderhead right here. So, all right, we're gonna go up and maybe we'll go down Skedaddle or something. So, all right, guys, 
So now we're on we're gonna get the head. An aerial view. Of yeah, the aerial view of, of. So this is. I actually don't know. What, I think it's called a Green Horn Ranch Express. Express. Yeah. Yep. So that's what that is. It, um, it hasn't been commissioned yet. It doesn't have a name nope. on the side of it. No, nope, it does not, because they're not fully done. But if you look very closely, uh, maybe I'll zoom in. There's cables. There's on cables the bar. on it. So and we'll, we'll give you this. So this bar right yeah, above my head bar. is coming down right now. Yep. This comes down and it, you know, it secures it in, and there's a snow lamp. Right. The other one, when you sit down and it leaves the station, yep. it will come down automatically. Come down because you can see. Beginner, and you can see there's like power, you know, cables right. on the back. Right. So now I'm sure they're, you know, that I've never seen that. I've skied uh -uh. Aspen, Vail. It's the first in North America. Yeah, That's what they I've said. I've skied all over North America. Yep. I've never seen that. Yep. So, so all those snow guns right there you see are, are brand new. You no, know, honestly, as much as I don't like the bar, I wish every lift would have that. Yeah, it'd be you know, just out of sight, automatic. automatic. And the reason why they have an automatic here is because it's a big ass learning center. You can see all those ski school people it's down. The number there. one ranked learning center in North America. Exactly. And uh, you know, it just expands. And this is Skedaddle right below us, but you can see that that lift is just, you know, perfect for learners. The and, the exit of that lift you know, looks a lot like the uh, the four points lift. Yep. Yeah, but it does. It does look like four and newer. I mean, you can see it comes in low, yeah, and then it goes and out it goes either left, left or right. right. Yep, yep. Here, the gondola is literally going to come up right and, here. I mean, you can see you can see cut. the new Make trail right the, there. It's going to have to come over this. This is exactly. the thunderhead, and it's going to go over. It's going to go very over, high, or, and right up ahead, you'll see they've pronged it out. Yep, it's they have where the a gondola tower is going to go. You can see those orange sticks in the snow behind the little trees there. Yep, we're going to show That's it in a minute. The, the gondola tower, and it's going to go just right up here. They've already they've already cut out the whole run. They've already put in where they're going to put it, and now they all they have to do is wait for next year, and they're going to start putting them in as soon as the mountain so closes. So the, the concrete is already poured there. Correct. They did that so nobody would hit the dang concrete. Yeah, earth. and you can see the. the the wire sticking out of it because that's where it goes inside but of the I mean, post. Right here, right here. and you right can up see there. up there, they've already made it. They've you already all. Up there, it's, it's right here. Yep. There's another tower that's a little bit more exposed up there. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm thinking, you know, May, uh, May, maybe June when the mm -hmm. snow's all gone, mm -hmm. they'll start, you know, doing construction and yeah. they're claiming it's going to be done by November.